I'm going to show you how to create reusable objects. You might want to do that if you're making a larger app and you want to make it easier to maintain, to avoid having to copy and paste code, and to improve the quality of your app by making the behavior of all of your objects consistent. You'll learn how to create object-oriented behaviors, apply those behaviors to multiple objects, and design code to be more reusable. I'm going to show you on two examples. The first one is the input validation example we created in a previous video. This field only allows you to enter a number with a maximum value of 100. To make this reusable, I'll create a substack and call that substack code library. And create an object within that substack, which I'm going to call range check. Then I'm going to cut the code from within this field so that there's no code in the field itself and paste it into the range check button. Now all I have to do is go into the properties for this field and say button range check or stack code library to apply this behavior script to the object. And now even though the field doesn't have a script of its own, it continues to show the range check behavior. I can make this code even more reusable if I clone this field. Let's say I want this field to have a maximum value of 500. I'll go back into my code and I'll say that instead of putting the value of 100 in, I'll say the C max value of me. So I'm going to create a custom property. And the thing is, I can apply that custom property to each of these objects, and it can have a different value. And yet the code will remain the same. So I can put C max value into this object and set that to be 100. And then C max value into this object, set that to be 500. And if I put a larger value in there, it maxes it at 500, and it maxes that one at 100. It's good practice to leave a copy of the object in the stack next to the library so that you can find one if you ever want to copy and paste one of those objects anywhere within your stack. Now I'm going to show you the progress bar example. I'm going to move the progress bar out into its own object. Cut that code out here and move it into progress and paste that in. I'm also going to make the object resizable when you resize it. So the first thing to do is to have it save the custom property on each object. So pass C progress means that when I set pre C progress, it will actually get saved as a custom property. Then on resize control, put the rect of me into the rect. Add four to item one of the rect. Groups have got a margin of four pixels, so I need to add that margin into any size calculations before I change the objects within the group. Each of the different sides. Set the rect of graphic one of me to the rect, and then set the C progress of me to the C progress of me. Because if you remember, this handler already has a calculation that will update the rect of graphic 2 based on the rect of graphic 1. And then if I set the behavior button progress of stack code library, I can set that. And I have an object which is fully resizable. And I'll leave myself a copy of it there.